In this video, I will be demonstrating how to size rows and columns in Microsoft Word tables. So as you can see here in my example, I have a five column table and I have one, two, three, four, five rows. So this is a five by five column, five by five table, five columns by five rows. So I want to create a shopping list. So the first thing I want to do is size my first column. This is something I create often and keep in my computer that I can uh, use again and again. So I'm going to select the first column and up here on the table tools I'm going to select the dis excuse me the layout tab and I'm going to change the width of that column to be 0.4. And then I'm going to move over to column 4 and select this column and also change this one to point 0.4. Now this is just for an example, but it just shows you how you can size the column widths. I want column 3 to be very small, so I'm going to select column 3 and I'm going to make it even smaller. I'm going to make it like 0.2. And while I have it selected, I'm going to make a change to the borders as well. So I'm going to click on the Design tab and click on the Borders drop-down arrow and scroll to the bottom and select Borders and Shading because in this table I don't want a border in that column on the top, the middle, or the bottom. So to remove the top, I click on the top icon. To remove the middle, I click on the middle. And to remove the bottom, I click on the bottom. And I click OK. So now you can see I have a still have my five columns, but this center column here has no borders. Now I'm ready to type in my grocery list. So I'm going to put the dairy items first. And maybe over here I'm going to put the canned goods, like maybe we, uh, you need beans, uh, corn, uh, pickles. You can you can arrange your list any way you want, but this way with the list formatted in this way, if I print it and leave it on the counter or the refrigerator, I can type in, I can write in like I need two milks or I can use a X to check, check it off, but it gives you a nice easy way to create your shopping list. Now in addition to formatting the width of your columns, you can also format your row height. So if I select the first row, and if you notice when I go across, it will even select the row without the borders, and I click again on the Layout tab, I can increase the height of the row. Now while that's selected, you'll notice that the text in the cell is still at the top of the, of the table cell. So up here on the alignment, if you click on this Align Center, this will move the text to the center of the cell. And if you click on the Home page, you can left align it with the margin if you want it back there. So again, the same formatting options uh, apply to tables with a few additional changes. So again, when you click outside the table, you lose your table toolbars. But if you click in any cell, any row, any column, you get your table tools. And this is where you'll find your Design tab and your Layout tab.